Hello, John Muller from the JP Muller Group. I'm often asked about whether the project plan template can be used to uh, manage to a budget or understand how we are burning up against a budget. Uh, it's a difficult question to answer because everybody has a different way in which they kind of budget out projects and manage their budgets. But I wanted to give you an idea of one way to possibly think through it um, and hopefully give you some ideas on how you may adapt that to work for you. Um, mine's going to be based on a budget and actual, and I'm going to use the percent complete column to try to estimate um, whether we think we're burning good or burning hot, etc. So I'm going to add a few columns in here. So I'm going to highlight S and insert column to the right, and I'm going to insert another one to the right. And I'm going to call it Act budget and actual. And I'm going to add a, a number in here. And you'll notice it makes it a percent. Why does it make it a percent? Because I inserted it after a column that created a, had a percent formatting. So it just assumed that I wanted the same formatting. I'm not going to want the form same formatting, so I'm going to highlight those columns. I'm going to choose a number. We'll make it currency. And then I'm going to bring the decimal place in a couple because I don't need decimals and let's add a couple budget numbers. I'm going to actually add 10,000 on a bunch here. All right, so we have our formatting done. The next thing we want to do is give you some kind of visual clue on how we're doing as far as um, actuals versus budgets. Let me uh, a few things here. Let's put this is right on. Okay, so I'm going to use conditional formatting to give you some visual indicators on whether we're okay, whether we're running hot, or whether we're, you know, kind of sort of getting warm, right? And here are my rules. If I'm 100% complete with a task and my actual spend is less than or equal to budget, then I'm going to make it green. If my if, I go, if I'm going over budget relative to the percent complete the, and I'm over by more than 3%, and that could be whatever percent you choose, but I'm going to choose 3, I want it to be red. If I'm over but I'm within 3% of going over, I want it to be yellow. Otherwise, I'll leave it as white. So first, let's highlight this whole column and we'll go to format and add some conditional formats. I'm going to add a new rule and in this rule I'm going to first make it apply to rows 7 through the end of the bottom of the spreadsheet. In my case it's 94. And I'm going to make this a um, okay, it's hard to see this here. Not equal to but there we go. Custom formula is I'm going to use an AND statement. I'm going to first do the green, the 100%. If I'm 100% complete, this look like? So I'm going to say if the percent complete column, or S7, equals 1. I also want to make sure budget and actual have a value. So AND T7 is not equal to blank, and U7 is not equal to blank. So basically, as long as I have a budget, as long as I have an actual and percent complete is equal to 100% or 1, then I want to test if U7 is less than or equal, or the actual is less than or equal to the budget, or T7. Close parentheses. And I'm going to use a default green background style. Last thing we want to do is we want to apply it, we want it to be over every other formatting that exists. So we're going to put that there. When I dragged it to the top, it made it green. Let's say I was 10,001. Notice when it repaints the screen. Oh, I'm sorry, I changed the budget. That worked correctly. So we'll make that 10,000. Let's make the actual 10,001. Watch what happens formatting goes away. Similarly, if I make it 9900, the formatting will come back. Great. 
So that's the first test. The next test, let's make our red test, meaning I'm over 3%. So I'm first I'm going to highlight the green one because it's much easier to edit from an already existing formula. I'm going to add another rule. It's going to make a complete copy of it. And in this case, I'm going to change. I want to look. I don't care that it's not that it's equal to 1. I'm going to say that it's not blank. Okay, just like the other ones. So as long as I have a value in all three, and my rule here is going to be that u7 divided by t7, or 7, which is budget, or actual divided by budget, is greater than S7 plus 0.03. It's the case. I want to make it red. So basically, as long as I'm going over the percent complete plus 3%, make it red. And again, I'm going to drag this up underneath the green. And here, 98 plus 01 would probably cause it to go red at that point, more than 3%. See? The last thing I'm going to do is create one for yellow. And in this case, I'm going to say that it's less than or equal to S7. plus 0.03, but I also want it to be greater than, so I want u7 divided by t7 to be greater than s7. And I'm going to make those yellow. And again, I'm going to drag that up. Okay. So now, if I was at 85, should be blank, 8501 would probably be yellow. So let's see what's wrong with this formula. I'm going to zoom in. Yep. Zoom in probably won't work on the video. Um, that's going to equal to 7. Oh, I put a T in here. Let's put a 7. Let's see if that helps. There we go. So because this is now within 3% of going over budget, it only appears as yellow. So that's how one way we may be able to get um, you know, a visual clue as how we're trending or burning to the budget. Uh, I hope this helps you and I hope it gives you ideas on how you may be able to apply these techniques to your particular rules so that you could, you know, have a nice understanding of the uh, ebbs and flows of managing your budget to your project plan. Thanks for joining and please remember to subscribe. Thank you.